Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Daddy, and this is episode 11 of my 7 Days to Die Alpha 20 Let's Play. And we're back here uh, where we're gonna try and get as much done as possible in our base. Um, let's see. What are we gonna put in here? I made the wrong thing. Let's put you in there, put you in there, put you in there. Yeah, I'm sort of like upset. I made an iron pickaxe instead of an iron axe. What I could do though is I could put this in here. Melt him down. Oh, we got 2300 wood. No, 320. That is not enough time. There we go. That's enough time to get that melted down. Do we need any more? I just want to get the axe. Get the axe. Lay out with some more of that in there. Hopefully, we'll have enough. Uh, let's go ahead and make our bacon and eggs. Oh, we got seven cornbread in there. Look at that. What I want to do, because I know I probably already did this before, but I want to make a grilled beef, I make a charred meat, and I even want to make a boiled meat. Uh, and I want to compare them all together to see if, like, is it even worth it to make four of me? Because you get 24 water from drinking a red tea. Is it worth it to use that water uh, to get the boiled meat? If you need that help, if you need the help, not be uh, hungry. Oh. There we go. Now we want to make a boil. And then we can uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make another like tin. So we can have uh, that ready for more drinks. If we get thirsty. Uh, we got stuff. We got more stuff. Oh, we need to drink. That's right. So you can get 24 water from a tea. Uh, let's boil the meat. But you only get 10 water from boiled meat. So you're losing out on 14 water. Because uh, you're still going to get the health. Oh, you only got 5 health from this and 5 health from that. So it gets. If you need the extra health, um, then make the boiled meat. If you don't, then cook in uh, the, uh, the grilled meat does not have the negative. So I guess it would be better to just do grilled meat. Unless, of course, you need the help. Then the boiled meat is the way to go. Just to use the water. But um, we ran out of again. You don't need that much time. There we go. Awesome. So we got some food. Uh, I'm so happy. Um, right now, I don't really need the help. Um, or the water. I just need the most hunger. <laughs> uh, yeah, the most food, not the health. Uh, so even a cornbread is equivalent to grilled meat. Or, or actually, charred meat. It's about the same. 
It's charred. Because you lose five water. Which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because you have to use water to make the cornbread. But in real life, cornbread is pretty dry. <laughs> you know. So I can understand that. Uh, I'm gonna go run and sell all these books. I don't know why, but I feel the need to. Because I looted them and they're all like a hundred. Yeah, they're all a hundred. 160. Well, let's go sell those real quick. Um. Hopefully I have enough iron in, uh, in the forge to get an axe going. If you were here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Cool. Now awesome. that was a good deal. Yeah, it was a good deal. I'm a doctor. Let's see, I'm a doctor. I stayed at a Holiday Inn. <laughs> All right. What are we gonna do here? Uh, let's go check our forge. What are you doing? You got the key going. Um, I wonder, I have more, yeah, let's, and also get another 10, so we can make 10 more cornbread, be good. So let's make our boiled water first. Uh, we're gonna need a lot because the water takes so long to make. We're gonna make 10 boiled water, make 10 red tea, um, and then we can't make the cornbread until our water's done, so. Alright, let's look in the board, see if we can get this going. We're gonna need 50 iron. I can't believe I wasted 50 iron. Okay, we got enough. That's good. It's going to take five minutes and get a little bit extra in there. Um, I guess we could put some clay in there. Let's see. Have something going? Well... Okay, hey, we're full. We need to drink up. We need to drink up. And drink up. We ate all that cornbread and stuff and charred meat. We took our water down. I might need to drink this whole stack. Uh, that could be good. Hopefully. So, while that's doing its thing, oh, um, I guess we could get, uh, our, oh, I got just enough glue. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I have enough glue. Uh, so now we just need 50. We're almost there. Okay, so let's do a little bit of digging, I guess. Oh, wait. I need to get rid of this grass. It just irks me when I go to swing at the, the dirt and I hit the grass. Dead. I don't know the dirt. 
at least I can get the big ones cleared away. It's a lot harder to hit the little ones. See? Alright. Looking good. Oh, you. Oh, we got so much work to do. Hey, we almost got this one side done. It's crunch time. Feeling the pressure. For sure. Um, it's almost nighttime. It's day six. And, um, uh, I don't really have a very good base built. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, this was a bad idea to uh, relocate, I guess. But I didn't want the other town. I like this town. It's a lot bigger town. A lot different uh, UIs to explore. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. <laughs> Is it worth it? What do you think? Uh, hopefully we won't die too much on the first ward. Um, usually I like uh, building on stilts. I uh, guess I haven't had any, any issues with it. in all the time that I've played. Um, I've never had the zombies tear down my base, but I don't play that long. I guess, I guess I should try to play more and see if the zombies can actually overwhelm my base, you know? Base to find. But I don't really even have a base design of this yet. So. Just swinging it here. Hoping this idea works. And I don't die. <laughs> to get up here. I think we can jump up too high. Yeah. Go. Check our little thing here. Oh yeah. Um, now we can make an axe. I can't believe I did that. But, it was better, so, okay, do we have the water? We do have the water, now we can put our cornbread. Three minutes, 45 seconds, so we need another piece of wood in there. We have some more to drink, that's excellent. And, um... I guess we could cook this up. I'm gonna just eat some cornbread. Pop this off. Um, <laughs> instead of wasting the meat, because the meat's gonna give us the exact same uh, as the cornbread, only. Um, you know, the meat could potentially be a lot more food if it's bacon and egg. So if I can hold off on using the meat until I get more eggs, that would be so well. Um, I 
I just, I'm really worried, like, how am I going to keep these guys from digging underneath my bay? Because uh, all that's there is the dirt. I don't have any... The hole dug up under there. I would really like to get the cage around there built up. So no one's protected. So, priority. Get the trench dug. Priority. Get the cage built. Two priorities. Uh, three priorities. Keep fed and watered. <laughs> Stay alive. Uh, so that we got our three priorities for day seven. Hopefully we can get all of those accomplished. It's the plan. It's the plan. Yeah. Uh, I think it was really good that we went uh, to get the water though. Because we did find a couple of animals. And we got some meat. That was really good. And now we know where the water is. So we get to go see a pretty park. We get water. Um, I don't know. I would like to see the water, uh, the thirst, get reworked because I don't know. I feel like um, the water's too easy. Like, I don't want it to be... more difficult as in, you know, busy. I mean, more difficult as in, I don't know. It just seems like it's an afterthought, not a... Same thing. Does that make sense? Oh, we only got one more side. So this is good. Uh, the only thing is, with the trench only being three deep, like page isn't going to. Be the correct height. If I want a much deeper cave, I want it or cave, not cave. I guess it is a cave. Not really a built human built cave. Um, okay, is that three or is that only two? One, two. It's only two. Gotta do one more. Get this one done. Oh, there's just not enough powers. Did we get our axe now? Oh, we got an axe. We're gonna get rid of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. I really would have liked to have gotten those skill tools, but we you don't. Know, not a lot you can do about that when you don't have the money early on. Oh, we almost got this trench dug out. Um, I would like to get some spikes started too. We got a lot of wood, but it's not enough. We're gonna need more. Oh, Resources, we don't have enough time. Uh, so, Spike, get those making while we're finishing this up. What spikes um, we can make? 
50. Let's use to make about 50. Hopefully that'll get us started. Yeah. It just takes so long to dig. Even with, I mean, I feel like a 3 and minor 69er is pretty good to have for the day 7 horde. Uh, I don't know, but you know, I don't feel like I could be doing this any faster. Got the iron shovel, two hits to kill this thing. I'm doing pretty swell. And that is one of the benefits to doing a stilted face is that you don't have to dig because digging takes time and uh, building takes less time than digging. But this is what I want to do. I wanted to do this and normally when I do build a base on stilts, I wind up being um, low on resources. So, you know, always running out of clay. I bet I don't run out of clay on the playthrough. Uh, it's going to be pretty impossible. Um, and, you know, digging gives your uh, gathering purpose, so it makes it a little bit less grindy. Like, oh, you're not just digging for play, you're digging to uh, make your base. Good. And um, maybe we'll eventually make sort of a hybrid uh, with a base on stilt and the thing dug. Maybe we'll build up or build down. Uh, I don't know. No, I haven't really decided uh, what direction that I want to take it in. Uh, digging would probably be good, because like I said, I, I have a hard time digging just to get materials, but if I'm digging to make space for a base, then, uh, you know, it takes away from the medium of it, you know? <laughs> Does not make sense at all? Oh, and it's almost again. Wow. Hopefully we get this. We're almost done. I need to prepare this guy. Oh, we got our 50 wood spike straps made. Oh. There we go. Oh boy, this is hard work. Um, I guess my buff wore off the, in the endurance, you know, from all the drinks. Oh, we're breaking through to the other side! And I'm out of endurance. <laughs> ah. And I've got, you know, I've got as much into... Um, Tyrannosaurus as I can. It's just the iron tools are a little bit heavier than the stone tools. Um, so, not as good with them yet. Oh, yes. We're finishing up the last corner. It's 
stuff because we're out. We're tapped. <laughs> Gotta get that stamped back. Uh -oh. Hoping that we get this dug. Um, I'm trying to think. What can we do? We we've, we've got a lot of gas. Um, the crickets. Maybe we could make uh, some Molotov cocktails. It's, uh, we're not doing missions, so we're not going to get those as a reward. So we're going to have to make them ourselves. We don't usually make Molotov cocktails, but we may need them this time. We may need them. There we go. Last row. I'm going to get out of here. I guess I can put down a frame. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. It's a temporary bridge, but we'll figure something else out. All right, what do we got? Oh, we got some warm bread. Oh, yes. We got lots of drink, which we need. We're going to drink up five of those. Because uh, if we eat some more of our cornbread, it's going to take our water down. Let's go ahead and eat these. Oh, yum. That uh, cornmeal saved our bacon. Literally. Maybe I'm going to look at all that clay. Oh, I never can have to want for clay again. That is such a good feeling. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so. My plan is that under here, which I guess if I'm going to, I guess I could go from right here, put a ladder down, then I want to go down one, two, three, Four and five. Yeah. So this is going to be like our pillar. So let's get some wood. Go. Is this stone or is this? That's not stone. Get this pillar up so we can dig out a little bit. I want to go one more down for the floor. Oh no. <laughs> I don't have my hammer on me. I don't have a hammer to fix that with, so I'm just gonna make a stone hat real quick. And then button it up. Awesome. Now we need some ladders. Uh, Ladder. So we're five, six. We're gonna need six. Oh, and I forgot we can't place those uh, right on us, so we're gonna have to dig over 
One. Two. Yeah, way here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're making progress. <laughs> um, and we'll want to hatch for that, too, for sure. Oh, we gotta have the torch gone. Okay. So I want the handle out. I like it when the hatches lay up against the pillar. That. We can upgrade that a little. Okay. Okay, so let's get our hammer. Hammy! And now I can't put the torch there. Put it. That works. <laughs> that works, okay. Awesome. So, um, we got just a little bit of time left. Um, I guess we should spend it gathering and use our new axe to chop some of these nearby trees down. We don't have a whole lot of time, but I'm pretty certain that... Oh, yes, we got two eggs, but I don't have any meat anymore. Ooh. Oh, I take that back. Take that back. Those are years of Duck Hunter at work right there. Yes. <laughs> uh, there used to be a game called Duck Hunter. And you would just practice shooting ducks and they would, um, you know come out in random directions and different speeds. You had to hit them. Ow! Games have come so far. I was a kid. It's just, uh, pretty amazing. Remember? <laughs> I remember playing Pong. That was a thing when they first came out with a, the very first, like, home type. A couple of paddles, and it was a two player game. You two people couldn't be single player, couldn't be more. And you could play head to head in a little basically hockey game type thing. Look at all these uh, flowers to get. Hey, we chopped them. That didn't take long at all to get all those trees with our new axe. <laughs> that worked fantastic. Um, now we can get to digging out underneath and then um, we might leave that at three down if we don't have time, but I'd like to get the cage built. Um, so we're probably going to need supports. Whoa, that one's only one because it didn't have this, I guess. Uh, so with that sound, that means it's time to go. There we got. Oh no, how am I getting in here? Okay, so we're gonna have to call it here. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Look at that beautiful sky. Bye-bye. <laughs>